This lesson is all about offering you some modifications for your wrists so that you can enjoy all the benefits of a yoga practice without sacrificing your wrists. And it's very common for a lot of us to experience discomfort in a yoga practice. And really it's no surprise because if we think about what the average person does with their wrists on, a, on the average day is not that much. And then we go to a yoga class and all of a sudden we have to bear weight on our hands in a tabletop position or in plank or in downward facing dog in this really 90 degree flex position. So no wonder we start to experience pain or discomfort in the wrists and we're gonna do a little assessment I want you to take your hand up here like this and then bend your elbow back or bend your wrist back more specifically not your elbow bend your wrist back so that you can try right so that same position that when you're on your hands and knees try to do that here without the floor below you and see how far you can bend your wrist back and do it on both of your hands and it's going to be pretty common to not be able to get to a 90 degree angle here at the wrist. For many of us, that angle might look more like this or even like this. And that is a great indication. So this is why this is an assessment because this is your active range of motion. How far can you move your wrist on your own here? And then think about this. So if your angle is this much, I'm going to show this. And now you want to go onto your hands and knees you're actually here, right? This, this is gonna to try to be mostly the same angle. But in a regular yoga class, we, we're, we're told, hey, put your shoulders over top of your wrists or put your hands directly underneath the shoulders, which creates a 90 degree flexion. Not only that, which you weren't able to do on your own, but most likely here. And not only that, now you've got weight bearing on that strong degree of flexion. So no wonder there may be pain and discomfort. And of course, this range of motion can be changed by doing some of the different wrist and hand and forearm mobilization exercises in the other videos. But in the meantime, let's think of modifications. So if you actively we're only able to bring your wrist this far, or you bring your hand this far, then it's helpful to bolster to that spot, which means, the, this is such a simple quick fix, is to actually roll your yoga mat, right? So if you're doing yoga, you're generally using a yoga mat, I could assume, even though that's not always the case, right? <coughs> but excuse me, so let's use a yoga mat here, and roll it up a little bit, and take the heel of your palm to that roll, and then you can let the rest of the hand and fingers come off of it. So now that means you're not in 100% 90 degree of flexion. You're just supporting where you were before. Now it's gonna be interesting, some of us might actually, and depending on how thick your yoga mat is, you might need to roll it up even more to increase that angle, right? So even less of a 90 degree flexion, this is, I have no idea what degree this is, but it's not that same one of what we're doing here when we don't have anything bolstered. Some of us might feel better to actually have just a little bit, right? So if you're a yoga teacher, that's a really quick fix. And I often offer that to different people saying, if you experience wrist discomfort, just roll your yoga mat and see if that helps. And for many, that's just all they needed.